The history of road construction is a very interesting one. Can you believe that at some point, animals constructed the roads human beings used to travel? Shocking, right? But that isn't much of a problem either. I mean, back in the day, people went on vacations with their foot, donkeys and horses at best. So the routes of movement were tracks created by animals constantly moving in the forest. It was great until we turned into something more sophisticated. Stone paved streets and timber roads. Today we use asphalt concrete and road construction has never been at its most sophisticated. But you know what that means? Modern road construction requires modern machines that can keep up with requirements. You've probably seen one or two where a road is being constructed, but we've decided to go on better. Today, you'll see 10 of the most modern road construction machines. Number 10, Road Printer. Number 10 on our list is the Road Printer. This machine is not only badass, it's also jaw-dropping to watch. If you see this machine, then you'll know that this isn't one of those machines with misplaced names. It literally prints roads. Bricklayers who work on roads can't tell you enough of how demanding the job is. But the road printer makes mincemeat of all that effort. At first, a front loader fills the machine brick hopper with loose bricks. Then the bricklayers take over from there, arranging the bricks into the pattern that'll be on the road. There they'll lay it on there, and the road printer gets to work. During work, the machine moves backwards, printing out bricks slowly across the ground like fabric on a loom. It can cover a complete stretch that's between 1 to 6 meters wide. That's massive, yeah? Because of the vertical assembling, the bricks don't fall apart when the machine lays them. To remove any margin of error, the machine is automatic, self-steering itself across a designated path so that the road is perfect. This machine can lay up to 500 square meters of brick in one day. That's more than any bricklayer can hope to achieve in a day. Imagine that, road springing up overnight. It's a really good one. Number 9. Tiger Stone Like the road printer, the Tiger Stone is also a paving machine, but it's invented by the Dutch company Vanku BV. This machine doesn't need a driver. It propels itself, covering 300 square meters a day. The Tiger Stone can lay different interlocking patterns within a short period, covering up more stretch of road than manual labor can ever promise to do. Although the machine is automatic, it doesn't do away with manual labor just yet. A couple or three of brick layers are still required to help put the bricks in the proper order. It's the physical hands that put the bricks on the hopper and try to arrange them in the desired pattern. Then the Tiger Stone starts to lower it on the ground through a curved ramp. This curved ramp is beneficial to the brick arrangement, keeping its shape while the street is laid. Thankfully, its electric power engine reduces the fallout of noise pollution, and its width can range from 4 to 6 meters. The Tiger Stone may lay the bricks on the street, but unfortunately, the tamper or the steamroller will fasten it to the ground. Number 8. Entry. As far as road construction is concerned, it goes without saying that the brick-laying machines steal the spotlight. Or does it? Perhaps you haven't met Entry yet. Road printer could lay your paved walkways and all, but what do you think lays the asphalt on your highways and other smaller motorable roads? The Etnar distributors are known for their efficiency in chip seal and tack coat application. And if you're talking about optimum performance gotten from experience, you can count on this machine. Having over 115 years of experience is no small joke, and they've integrated that into their machine's performance. Etnar is no different than a water truck, except for the spray bar at the back, a spray bar that can allow up to 24 foot wide controllable shots. Instead of water, of course, its tank holds tack oil, and the controller in the cab controls it with a BT-1 computer. If I were to come up with a nickname for the Etnaya, I'd call it the Road Painter. It does a great job with the tack coating. Number 7. Gavesa You've probably never seen so many in-situ concrete barriers on roads and bridges, and they've been doing a great job in keeping us safe, yeah? Have you ever wondered about how these barriers are made? Well, you're in luck. The magic word is Gavesa. Gavesa is a construction company in Barcelona, Spain, and are better known for their machines in road construction. The Gavesa is a huge beast, undoubtedly the largest of all the machines we've mentioned so far. This machine constructs the strongest in-situ concrete barriers with superhuman speed. The machine's got a huge robotic arm with a mold at the end. 
the concrete is dispensed from a tank through that arm, and the mold shapes it smoothly along the designated area. If you've got the chance to watch a Gavesa in action, please do. Number 6. Gameco Corporation Gameco Corporation is a prolific road construction company. Their road paving machine, even more so. If we could organize these machines into a list of titans, Gameco would be in the same group as the Gavesa by sheer size alone. In road constructions, machines this big are known to execute a lot of labor, and the Gameco slip form paver is not an exception. This machine uses 3D guidance to ensure that the mapping and directions are on point. The corporation's got machines that can pave streets from 30 to 40 foot wide. They're also equipped with ground control remote operators that allow construction workers at the ground to see everything the operator can see. But these slip form pavers are renowned for not only your ease of control, but for the smoothness of their work. If you think laying smooth, thick layers of concrete on roads is an easy job, ask road construction workers, they'll tell you. But this machine does all this in record time. Number 5. The SD-115B Volvo You've seen road printers, tack coaters, and barrier constructors. Now you're going to see a soil compactor. The SD-115B Volvo is one of the best soil compactors out there. The drum is integrated with the machine so it can function easily, and its engine controls itself, alternating between power frequencies to increase the machine's performance and versatility. You'd expect a huge machine like this to make a hell of a noise, but the SD-115B doesn't as a result of its lower fan speeds. The drum control system delivers multiple frequencies and utilizes dual amplitude and optimized centrifugal force to work. It uses a Volvo Tier 4 engine that consumes low fuel and provides optimum performance. The cab is comfortable and offers the operator a perfect all-round view of the surroundings. To match the working demands of the SD-115B, its engine is equipped with a coolant system comprising of hydraulic-based fans. The speeds can increase or decrease depending on when the engine's temperature needs to be cooled. It also has a telematic computer system that helps the operator keep track of the machine's performances. Number 4. The CAT 24M The CAT 24M is a powerful machine designed for road grading, shaping shoulders, slopes and whatnot. It's a recent model in the CAT Caterpillar series and it comes with an extra set of exciting features. It has a new modular design and machine protection features that cuts down heavily on the trips you'd have to make to the mechanic. The modular design means that part of the machine's components can be removed and reassembled. If anything, it enhances the mobility of the CAT 24M. Seriously, I wish other machines could be like this. The integrated computer system features that protect the machine and increases its performance. Such features include a second-generation steering system, engine overspeed and underspeed, lockout and rotation angle limits and so on. The CAT 24M has been fully packaged to provide optimum performance as it has an allowance to incorporate optional equipment in addition to the standard ones. The machine takes things a step further by ensuring extra safety and security during operation. It has fire suppression system, circle drive slip clutch, seat belt indicator, locking doors among others. With a mold board that's 24 foot wide and 40 inches tall, you can expect this machine to deliver a performance that holds up to the impression of its physical appearance. Number 3. The WR250 Vertgen If this is your first time seeing a recycler, you're right to be wowed. But also keep in mind that not all recyclers make quite the impression that the WR250 Vertgen. It's got a sturdy look, and that's obvious to see at first sight. But what's more impressive is how its components and features have been structured to meet expectations. The WR250 is a cold recycler and soil stabilizer that's been retrofitted with cutting, milling, and mixing technologies. It's equipped so that it can match even the stubbornest of soils. It can cover 6,000 to 12,000 square meters a day when it comes to soil stabilizing. For cold recycling, you should be looking at an estimated 700 to 1200 square meters per hour and 20 to 25 centimeters of asphalt. When this machine operates as a soil stabilizer, 
It uses the mixing and milling rotor to mix stuff such as lime or cement into the soil, turning it into high-quality material for construction. For cold recycling, the machine utilizes its mixing and milling rotor, but it does one better than the soil stabilizing process. It brings in its injection systems. Therefore, as it grinds and mills existing asphalt pavements, it injects binders and water and mixes everything all up. The engine is super efficient to match the work rate of a machine that chews up the road and mixes it all up. Number 2. The 5700C Power Curb The 5700C Power Curb might not be as huge as most of the machines on this list, but it's just as effective. A curb and gutter machine, the 5700C is the first 5700 generation to steer with all tree tracks, pour concrete with 3D controls, slip left or right, and to top it all, pours the largest concrete applications. Though it can control all the tracks, the 5700C can also steer the front track independently in a tight radius in case of narrow locations. It's also got an integrated computer system that assists the operator in movement and also runs diagnostics. The molder and trimmer have hydraulic systems that make movement and adjustability easy for it. The 5700C's relatively small design allows it to get the job done in narrow spaces. It's also equipped with an alga conveyor that moves huge volumes of concrete quickly while keeping the machine neat at the same time. If you plan on constructing a curb or gutter, and a 5700C power curb is not on the list, chances are that you're making a wrong choice. Number 1. The Vogel Super 3000 3i Paver The Virgen Group is at it again. Thought you'd heard the last of them, yeah? Well, we're rounding up today's video with the Vogel Super 3000 3i Paver, which is the largest paver in Vogel's range. It has a width of 18 centimeters, and as such can work on motorways and runways. It can also construct thick anti-freeze layers and crushed stone bases. It's equipped with a diesel engine and a fuel tank with a capacity of 605 litres. In addition to its standard features, the machine also has an allowance at the back to add other extensions. When it comes to screeding and paving roads, the Vogel Super 3000 3i Paver is one of the staple choices. And that's it for today! If there are other excellent modern road construction machines that you think should be in this video but aren't, you can hit us up in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content.